And I think that the AAD50 is probably the most important acoustic guitar that Ibanez has made in maybe the last five to 10 years. Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Jordan. Thank you so much for watching. Today I wanted to talk about Ibanez's new acoustic guitars for 2022. Now they've got two particular models that came out this year and two variations of each of those. And that is the AEG 750 and 550 and then the AAD 50 and 50 cutaway with electronics. And I think that the AAD 50 is probably the most important acoustic guitar that Ibanez has made in maybe the last five to 10 years. But before I get into that, I wanted to react quick to the AEG series. Now I'll throw a couple of pictures up on the screen so that you guys can see some of the specs and kind of what they look like. The first thing that I notice when I look at these guitars is the inlays up the neck and in the headstock especially because lots of guitars have an inlay up the fretboard or in the headstock, but very few companies will go all the way through and go from the headstock into the fretboard all the way down. So I thought that was a really cool feature and I'm very impressed with the way it looks. It looks really nice. Uh, Ibanez does this on another one or two of their different guitars as well. And I think that's a lot of what you're paying for when you get these guitars. You can see the flame maple on there looks really nice, but at the same time, it's all laminated because I'm pretty confident that if it doesn't say that it's solid wood, that it's not solid wood and nothing here in the spec sheet is specified as solid wood. So I'm assuming that all of it is laminated and although it's very pretty, I don't know as long term it'll give you the tone that you know a solid wood guitar would. Now the 550 is not super spectacular either but it is a very nice looking guitar. All in all what I think is coolest about both of these models is the tuner that they have built into them. It's a very nice little screen up on the top easy to see when you've got it strapped on and you're up on stage and it just looks like a really nice system for beginners that are wanting to learn to play live. I will say though, I used to have an Ibanez AW150 that I bought a while ago, and although it was a really cool guitar, it really was nothing special plugged in, and I think that could probably be said for these two, but like I say, I haven't tried them yet, so I don't know. Now, moving along to the AAD50. Now, the reason I said I think this is the most important guitar Ibanez has made in the last 5-10 to 10 years is price point. So, when you introduce a new model of guitar, when um, Ibanez brought out the AAD series, nobody really knows if they're that much better. Nobody knows if they'll fit in an actual dreadnought case. At least that's one of the things that I wondered as soon as I saw that they had come out. Um, I don't know if buying one of their guitars that's just different from a normal dreadnought, I didn't know if that was really worth it, if it would really sound any better, if it really played any better or looked cooler. In my opinion, I think they look awesome. But you know, you have all these questions. So when you have to pay three to $500 to get into this guitar and you're not really sure what the quality is yet, you know, a lot of people are going to be a little more skeptical. I think the AW or the AW54, excuse me, that was one of the best guitars they've ever made because price point wise, it was very accessible to beginners. Quality was great. It had a solid wood top. It sounded amazing. It looked really cool. It checked all the boxes for a beginner acoustic guitar. And then YouTubers came on like myself and said, hey, these are great guitars. So if you go through like all the videos and stuff that are on them on YouTube, or you like kind of just check and read reviews on Amazon, Sweetwater, Guitar Center, you know, anywhere, they've got pretty good reviews. Lots of people have bought them, lots of people enjoy them. And to this day, they're very hard to find used when they're not in terrible condition because they're a beginner guitar. People buy them and then they either play them and keep them or they, you know, get left in a closet somewhere. So it's kind of hard to find even a good deal on them right now. Um, at least that's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I think this guitar, the AAD50, is actually a good comparison to the AW54 because it's about $20 more. It comes in at $250 on the Sweetwater website. Um, I may leave a link below um, so that you guys can find it a little easier and do a little more research on it. But they're a very cool looking guitar and the fact that they brought out a cutaway version to match it with electronics and everything, that's really great for anybody that's wanting a cheap performance guitar. And I think this was a good move on Ibanez's part. What I'm curious of is, are these guitars actually good quality? Are they long lasting? Do they sound good? Do they, you know, feel good in the hands? What's the fret job like? 
what's the sound quality you know I'm really curious about all of these things so if you guys want to see a review on this please give it a thumbs up please give the video a thumbs up and please leave a comment below that you want to see a review on the AAD 50 because I would really like to buy one but I need a little incentive if I'm gonna do a review I don't want to buy something that you know to review that nobody's gonna watch so if you guys want to see that please give it a thumbs up down below the other thing that I think would be really cool to do with some of these cheaper entry-level guitars is take them and upgrade them so add you know a new nut a new saddle um, you know add a new pickup and just kind of spice it up with some really nice um, you know maybe some graph tech products some elixir strings and you know maybe even a really nice like a fishman or a seymour duncan pickup or even an lr bags pickup and just kind of see how good we could really make one of these entry level guitars so if you guys want to see that please comment below as well so my final thoughts on these four new guitars i think the aeg series the 570 no 550 and 750 i think these are really cool looking guitars i think if you need a stage guitar but you don't necessarily need recording quality tone i think this might work really well for you i think the aad is the most important guitar that ibanez has brought out probably since the aw54 and once again, that's just my opinion. Feel free to disagree with me in the comments below if you want. But I think that this is a, a really cool idea. I think it's very smart for them to bring out an entry level um, price point instead of, you know, having to invest $400, $500 into one of these things just to figure out if it's worth owning. So I think that's a really good move on Ibanez's part. And once again, if you guys want to see me do a review, you got to leave a comment below so that I know it's worthwhile to do. And uh, with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and please give it a thumbs up. And uh, please just let me know if there's any other guitars that I need to be covering in these reaction videos. So with that, I'll let you guys go. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you later.